It's the misanthropic one, aka He Who Hungers, and I'm back up in this bitch for another rant. You know, I get so sick and tired of reiterating myself on my channel, and I'm sick and tired of the lack of. Well, I shouldn't even be surprised about what I'm about to say. The lack of people that have. Uh, common sense you know um, there's a saying that common sense isn't that common anymore which uh, it really isn't um, common sense is really like a fucking superpower nowadays that's the way I look at it the other day <laughs> I got a comment on um, one of my recent videos I believe it was the uh, MGTOW um, hate reading one that that a lot of these stupid hoes are going on MGTOW related forums and um, hate reading you know what I mean um, some dude that subscribed to me I'm not gonna say his name he knows who he is um, came and left me a comment um, in essence he was trying to say he says that um, basically MGTOW and movements uh, such as MGTOW um, have a white supremacist agenda to them oh god um, and it just drives me crazy I mean y'all already know why and where I'm going and you know because it's like today people just use that so loosely that white supremacist racist it, there's no definition to it because anything that you don't agree with means that you're a Nazi, you're a bigot, you're a xenophobe, you're a white supremacist. That that's what that means to me now. It don't it don't mean anything to me. There's no definition to it because it's being used so much. But um, I decided to engage this dude and say, you know, he, I said, wait, what are you talking about? I said, how the fuck does following a I said, MGTOW is a, 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 a philosophy, it's more of a philosophy, it's not really a movement, it just, you know, is, it's just something that's there, you know what I mean, and um, how's, it, how's me following it benefit white people? Oh, uh, this dude tried to go on saying, oh, you know, um, white people started it, and, um, what's that, oh, okay, white people started it, and um, you're upholding it essentially without me going into the whole shit oh god I have a headache just thinking about this shit he was trying to say well he watched I believe it was Cassie J's Red Pill documentary I mentioned this a few videos ago that I want, I'm interested in watching it and uh, he was trying to say well majority of the people in there or all the people in there were white that were uh, MRAs and I guess maybe some that were claiming MGTOW I don't know I didn't see the, the fucking video so I re my response is well majority of people especially in the US are white so I mean of course a lot of MGTOWs are going to be white like wh what does that mean you know and you know he kept harping on well, you know, it was created by a white guy and, you know, you're a black. And I said, well, that, if you're going to use that logic, that logic is, is, is stupid because you could say, well, black people shouldn't be playing basketball because basketball was created by someone white. I said, we're sitting on YouTube talking. Two of the co-founders of YouTube, because it's three, two of them were white, so we shouldn't be on YouTube. The microwave you shouldn't use the microwave because it was created by someone white. So, I mean, 
this is this this is leading into that whole cultural appropriation shit which is real cringy to me it's fucking stupid and it's a fucking slippery slope when people start going down this path um and you know this dude started going on saying you know i said you know MGTOW was simply saying listen i'm a conscious i'm a concentrate on myself you do what you gotta do i'm gonna build myself up why people are against that is so bizarre but okay you want to be against it fine leave me the fuck alone no this and i said you know it's basically saying that we don't uh we don't have to give into uh social norms or cultural norms we just do our own thing essentially which i find funny because this dude said that he's a fan of my music reviews and a lot of these rappers really preach that type of lifestyle they, they don't really subscribe to it or anything, but that's what they talk about. But when it, when a nigga's really doing it, oh, no, 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 you shouldn't do that. It's upholding white supremacy. What the fuck does that mean? I don't understand that. But anyway, uh, how did it end? Uh, <sighs> yeah, this dude's like, what cultural norms? What the, I said, like getting married. Like having to succumb to stupid ass child support or alimony uh, payments, stuff like that. Like you totally avoid that if you're concentrating on yourself and making yourself into the perfect, perfect man, essentially. You know what I mean? You concentrate on your business, your wealth, your hobbies, something that will push you to the zenith of who you could be. And then he goes on saying, well, weren't you conceived by your parents that were wed? Uh, or out of wedlock or blah 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 and uh, and I'm like well yeah so just because my parents are married or were married that means that I have to be married that doesn't make sense wedding uh, being married is a choice okay um, and that's just proving my point right there that simply because he said that in itself oh well your parents were married so you should be married no I don't that doesn't mean shit um, and then he brought up the fact that I made a video uh, where I came back. A lot of you might remember this. I came back from my friend's wedding and I was all dappered out and shit. And um, he goes, oh, yeah, you were at your friend's wedding and you were dressed up. And blah, blah. I said, well, yeah, I said, what I believe is what I believe. If someone else is happy getting married, that's their choice and, I, and more power to them. I, I believe in the uh, traditional sanctity of marriage. That to me, majority of that is dead as of modern day. Cause you have the advent of social media, everything's super accessible now, you know, it's easy for people to go out and cheat. You know, people's minds are, are and people are very impersonal lately. I, marriage isn't just isn't what it used to be but if you find somebody that compliments you that that is you, the yin to your yang fuck it go for it i don't have a problem with that and the dude was my friend so i got an invite he said hey dude you gotta come down man i'm getting he was happy for me to be there he wanted me to be there so why wouldn't i support him in that aspect i mean the fact that i'm even explaining that is is, is fucking asinine but my point is, you know, this shit that people do, especially today, you can see it. Uh, you see it in 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 society, and especially in the U.S. There's this whole uh, group think mentality. You have to do this. You gotta do it this way. Um, if not, we're gonna we're gonna um, label you everything except your real name you're a bigot you're a racist i mean there was another um article speaking of the video that um this comment was um left on on that same site we hunted the mammoth they were talking about how certain MGTOWs are uh racist um uh xenophobe anti-muslim and this and that because they were talking about the uh a lot of the terrorism and shit that's going on um, here in America or, or all over the world for that matter 
And yes, yeah, so, well, were some of the people ignorant? Sure. But a lot of those people were, they, they didn't say anything derogatory. They were just like, they're just like, yeah, listen, um, I don't agree with some of the policies that are going on. And um, yeah, they should be vetted. And yeah, we should, we should, um, uh, I forget, I, I, I forget exactly what they were saying, but it wasn't venomous. It wasn't super venomous. I mean, you had one or two comments that were like that, but again, in every group, you're going to have fucking extremists. You know what I mean? Those type of people, I do not agree with, whether they be uh, super uh, extreme left, which I fucking hate with a passion because that's dominating the left right now, and extreme right. Extreme right, a lot of them dudes are racist as fuck. But at least on the extreme right, I know where they stand. They're not sitting there treating me like a pet, like they do on the left. But anyway, that's getting into another fucking topic. But let me tell you something. You stupid motherfuckers out there that don't know how to, that claim you accept other people, but you really don't know how to accept people stop using racial overtones to try and shame somebody into thinking the way you do because it's really just distasteful that means you really don't have a leg to stand on you have nothing you have no talking point whatsoever and for you to um race bait because this dude even tried to be sarcastic and say oh i know you're gonna label my comments race baiting well yeah they are because you were the one who brought up white supremacy that i'm upholding white supremacy uh because uh yeah i claim i claim make tower or whatever it, it, it's just the fucking stupidest thing in the world and i even referred this guy to ibmore shout out to bgs ibmore by the way ibmore um is MGTOW except more geared towards black people, which I support as well. So, I mean, the fact that people will use that dumb ass um, uh, ideology that because someone else created something, you can't uh, benefit from it or take advantage of it somehow is the stupidest thing ever. That's how, I mean, just by that logic alone, uh, us as a uh, as a human race would never be able to advance because one one group of people could not use or could not take advantage of some of the great things that other races have um, created. I mean, it's just <laughs> I'm done. It, you get the point. I could be here all day. Everybody else, y'all know the deal. Leave your love, leave your hate. Most of all, subscribe. That's it. Peace, bitches.